All right, good evening there, fishing friends. What I'm going to show you today is how to tie Texas rig. All right, show you the items you're going to need. You're going to need bobber stop, uh, hook of your preference. Me personally, I like the uh, EWG Y Gap, extra heavy. So it's uh, this is a number four. I fish with a number four and a number five, but uh, because it's winter time, I'm gonna use a number four because I got a feeling it might have a soft bite, so I want to be able to them to get the whole thing in their mouth without feeling nothing funny. And you're gonna need bullet weight, this uh, quarter ounce tungsten. That's what I like to use. Use whatever you want, but quarter ounce tungsten for me. And my bait of choice, of course, is Strike King's KVD uh, Perfect Plastics um, Rope. It imitates crawdad, I guess, and watermelon red. Okay. And this is just because I'm lazy. I don't feel like uh, cutting it. First thing you want to do, take the bobber stop. Me personally, I like to use two. In case one of them burns off, you got one to back it up. In case you guys didn't see how I did that with the first one. Take the end of your line, put it through the self-made loop. Bring it up a couple inches. Grab the bobber stop with your finger. Slide it over the line all the way past the end until it pops out. Okay, simple enough, and you got two bobber stops. Slide them up for a minute. Okay. Me personally, what I like to do is cut off past where I put the bobber stops on because in case you can't see it, put kinks in my line. So, cut that off right there. Okay, next you're going to need your bullet weight, tungsten, slide that on, then your hook. Now me personally, I like tying a polymer knot. Now plenty of people do it different, stick in one, one line first and then pull it back through. Me, I just bypass all that. I just double up the line from the start. it right through my eye to hook simply tie overhand knot don't cinch it down yet take the loop pass it through the hook and grab both the tag line and the main line pull a little bit cinch up the loop in the back here Make sure it don't get tangled up around your eye. Pull it nice and tight. Take the tag in, cut it off. Okay, there you go. Take your bait, put it on. Me personally, I like to do it on the eye side. Just personal preference. And I normally go down to just where it starts to bend in the wide gap. Pop the hook out. Feed it up all in there. So it covers your knot. Bend your creature bait a little bit. Insert the hook. So you got one straight uniform piece. And of course you split the tails. And slide down your bobber stop right to the bullet weight so it's pegged. Just like so. There you have it, Texas rig. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I taught you something. Remember, if you like the video, 
hit the like button if you're not already subscribed please subscribe until next time